There is an underrated side hustle where people are earning around $15,325 a month by sharing with others the knowledge that's already inside of their head. And they're doing this in the form of paid communities and memberships that they are starting quickly and for free. And I'm just completely shocked that more content creators aren't doing this because people are earning tens of thousands of dollars a month doing this. And all you have to do is share what you already know, love, and do. Here's exactly how it works. And really quickly, if you want my full list of all 54 different types of digital products that you can sell online for consistent passive income, just go in the link in the description below this video to download it right now completely for free. So what exactly are memberships and what exactly are paid communities? Now, a membership is like a paid community, but typically it also has a couple other components. Sometimes it will have something like a paid training component or access to the teacher or access to certain materials and downloads. It usually just gives you access to more things. For me, when I think about a membership, I think of something that you are paying for recurring and you are getting recurring help in exchange for that. So for me, I'm in the educational content creation space. So in my membership, you're getting ongoing access to my trainings. You're also getting any updates we make. You're also getting weekly Q&A group coaching access to me. You're also getting access to our paid community and more. Whereas a paid community is typically just that. You are paying, again, a recurring fee, either monthly or yearly or maybe quarterly, but it's just that, it's just the paid community. So typically you're just paying to have access to all these other like-minded people. You can brainstorm ideas, you can chit chat about things and it's all centered around one topic typically. So why did I decide to start my membership? Now, not only are memberships great side hustles, but they're also great for recurring revenue. And for me, yes, I want recurring revenue for my business because it's very healthy for your business to have that. Then you're not starting every single month in your business at zero sales, right? You know you can depend on those recurring members. But more importantly, I wanted to teach something that didn't necessarily have a concrete start and a concrete end. Because typically I have created many courses over the years, but those typically have a concrete start and a concrete end. So people pay one time, they learn the knowledge, and they move on with their lives. <laughs> but with a membership, I wanted to teach people how to grow on YouTube and how to sell digital product to their followings for consistent passive income. But that is something that you are going to need ongoing help with. And I wanted a way for people to come into the membership no matter where they were in their journey, take what they needed, stay for as long as they needed the help, and then be able to move on from there. Because if you think about it, you're never going to reach a certain point with your YouTube channel and be like, well, I'm done. I mean, you might be done with YouTube, but you're never gonna reach like a thousand followers and be like, well, that's enough followers for me. Like you're gonna typically want to continue growing your channel, right? And the same thing for digital product sales. You're going to continue to want to create new products, sell more of those products. You're really going to want access to a mentor ongoing and a program ongoing that you can log into and get help and save time and money with different scripts and templates and things over time. So that's ultimately why I decided to start my membership was two things. Number one, being able to give people ongoing help and number two, being able to get paid ongoing because it is just way healthier for the longevity of your business. Okay, so let's talk about memberships versus eBooks versus courses. Now, memberships are amazing. And again, you get that recurring revenue, but if you're a complete beginner and you've never ever sold a digital product online ever before, you can obviously start with any digital product you want, but I would highly recommend that you start with an eBook or a workshop or templates or something a little bit easier than a membership. Now, again, memberships are amazing. I love them and you should eventually create one. But if you're a complete beginner, it is a lot easier to get those first sales with something like an ebook or a workshop or templates because it's typically a lower price and you're not asking people to pay you ongoing. And this is gonna help you get more sales quickly, which is going to build your confidence. Then what I recommend is once you have that selling consistently, then you can think to add on something like a course or a membership. And the other thing with a membership is, although it's amazing, trust me, I love my membership, but it is harder to sell in terms of, I had to build out an entire evergreen auto webinar funnel, which can be very, very daunting to a beginner. As someone like me, who is very advanced, I love it, it's super fun. And I think it's something that you should eventually learn. But again, if you're a complete beginner with digital product, I wouldn't necessarily recommend starting with the membership Although again, you could do what you want. It's your business, but those would be my recommendations. And really the differences between them 
is let's say an ebook, for example, that's something that you just create once, typically in Canva, you can download it as a PDF and you can sell it online. And it's not only easy for sales because it's a lower price and it's just a one-off sale, but also you don't have to do a lot of customer support. It's not gonna come with Q&A calls, not gonna come with a paid community. It's just something where someone buys it, they download it and they're done. So that could be really great for your business and lifestyle as well. Now again, courses are a little bit different because someone's just paying you one time and they're typically at a certain point and you wanna get them to their goal at the end. So it's kind of like a one-off purchase. And that's really the big difference between eBooks, courses, and memberships. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons of each. So again, really quickly, the pro of an eBook would be that it's easier to sell and it will grow your confidence to just make your first sales with that. And it's also really easy from a customer service standpoint because people are just downloading it, you're getting paid passively and, and that's it. You don't have to serve them ongoing or anything like that. However, the con can be that you might not make as much as something that you can charge more money for and you also won't get that monthly recurring revenue. And of course that leads into the pro of a membership and a paid community that you're getting monthly recurring revenue but the con can be that it is more work to sell and it is more work to have to be continuing to serve people ongoing to get members to stay in the membership or paid community because retention can be something that's challenging. Again, not trying to talk you out of this. I absolutely love it. But I just want to be upfront and honest with where's the best place to start based on where you're at in your digital products journey. And really courses have all the pros of just having a one-off sale, but the con would be that it doesn't have the monthly recurring revenue. You could do any of these as awesome side hustles, any digital products, but I did really want to highlight memberships and paying communities in this video because I just love them so much. And I think as a side hustle, once you're ready to create one, not only is it good to get those sales, but you get that monthly recurring revenue, which is perfect for a side hustle if you need to put time into other places, you're still gonna be getting that monthly recurring revenue, of course, as long as you're retaining your members. And if you want my full free training that I made just for you, all about how you can create your very own digital products for consistent passive income, we're talking how to come up with your digital product idea, how to grow a following of buyers for your digital product, and of course, how to sell your digital products consistently for passive income, then go in the first link in the description below this video to sign up and watch this training on demand instantly for free now. Okay, so whether you're sold on doing an ebook or a membership or a course, let's talk about the steps and how you can actually make this happen as a side hustle. The first thing you're gonna wanna do no matter what digital product you choose to create is grow a following. Now, many of you watching this probably already have a following, so you can just go to the next step I'm about to share with you. But if you don't have a following, you're probably thinking, well, Molly, easy for you to say you have a following. Well, let me tell you this, nobody is born with a following. So it is 100% up to you to decide if you wanna build a following or not. So you can sit at home and you can whine about how you don't have a following or you can create the damn following. The ball is in your court. And I would highly recommend that you decide to build the following because then you can monetize it with things like passive digital products, whether you want that to be a side hustle or your full-time hustle. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to want to grow an email list at the same time that you're growing your following. So whether you're at zero followers, 100 followers, 10,000 followers, a million followers, if you don't have an email list, start the dang thing today. You can literally get started using system.io completely for free. There is a link for a totally free system.io account in the link in the description below this video. And I use system.io to run my entire business. You could literally have it set up today for free. You can use it for up to 2000 email subscribers. And once you hit that threshold, then you could start paying. I pay for their most expensive tier and it's only 99 bucks a month, which is insane. I have literally paid hundreds of dollars a month, sometimes thousands of dollars a month when you combine softwares together to do what I am doing with system for just 99 bucks a month. Actually, now I pay $67 a month because I paid for their year in advance. So they have discounts that way too. But what you're gonna wanna do is create a freebie that you're gonna promote to your following, just like I've done in this video. So I said, hey, if you wanna download my list of 54 different digital products, go in the link below. That's where you put in your name and your email to download it and you get on my email list in exchange for me giving you that list of 54 different digital products for free. Now, if you're not already sold on having an email list, definitely do your research on it because it would quite literally be a waste of your time to not be growing an email list and a following at the same time because an email list actually converts 40 times more at making sales than social media alone. Not to mention if your account got shut down or you lost your social media account for whatever reason, you would at least still have your email list. Next, what you're gonna do is once you have 200 people on your email list, you're gonna wanna send them a survey. You can use Google Forms totally free to figure out what is their number one pain point. 
What are they struggling with? That way you can figure out what's their number one pain point and find a crossover of what they're struggling with and what you have knowledge on. And then you're gonna to wanna to create your digital product based on that. Trust me, you do not wanna waste your time creating a digital product that you just think people will buy or you just hope people will buy. <laughs> you wanna create one that you absolutely certainly know people will buy. And also, if you create something to just solve a nice to have problem, it's not gonna be nearly as easy to sell as if you solve a very painful, their number one most painful problem with your digital product. That is the key. Okay, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is pre-sell your membership or digital product. That's right, you do not actually create the product in advance, you want to pre-sell it. Because just think, you don't wanna be one of those people three months, six months, or even 12 months from now that comes crying to me saying, I spent all this time and money building my digital product and nobody bought it. Yeah, because you didn't listen to my videos. <laughs> It's way better to pre-sell your digital product. What this means is you're gonna put up a checkout page and you're going to get sales before you've created the product. Now, this is where people like to say, but Molly, that's a scam. It's not a scam, it's just like a workshop. Have you ever paid for a movie ticket before seeing the movie? <laughs> have you ever paid for a workshop before attending the workshop? Of course you have, that's exactly what you're doing here. Is you're telling people, hey, I'm gonna be helping you solve XYZ problem in this digital product starting on this date. They're gonna buy their ticket in advance. So that way you are actually getting paid to create the digital product and you're knowing with certainty that people will actually buy it before you put all the effort into creating it and you're actually able to create a better product because let's say you're doing an online course. You can pre-sell that and tell people, hey, by the way, your course is gonna start on this date, which is gonna give you one, two, three, however many weeks you need to create the first module. Then people go through the first module, they have questions, you use that feedback to create the second module. When you take the time to build your digital product along alongside your customers, your digital product is going to turn out way better. The next one is build it, which we already kind of covered, so I'm gonna skip over that. <laughs> and then the last part of the framework is sell it consistently. Now, this is what I have done with my membership using an automated webinar funnel, but you can do this with an ebook or a course just simply using a checkout page or a sales page. You don't even need a big fancy thing. In fact, I would not recommend that for beginners at all. I would recommend if you're a total beginner, Pick something easy like a workshop or an ebook or a mini course. And then you're gonna pre-sell it with a checkout page or a sales page. And by the way, if you're like, holy crap, this is overwhelming. I have all of these trainings laid out step-by-step -step, along with word for word done for you scripts, done for you templates in Canva, everything totally done for you. All you have to do is just edit the text to your liking, and you can have this up and running in no time. And this is all located inside of my membership, Freedom Creator Club. And there is a link where you can learn more about my membership, Freedom Creator Club, in the description below. Now that you know that my very favorite and easiest side hustle is digital products, the different digital products, and even how to sell them. You might be wanting to learn how I've done over $8 million in total revenue sales of digital products to date, but how do you do that? Well, it all starts with watching this video next year because when you pair what you just learned with what's in this video, it's gonna be way more powerful. See you in the next video.